Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Norma. Welcome back to more of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, last time, we came back after an almost two-year hiatus. I do still apologize it took that long. But yeah, what matters now is that we're back, and today we are going to get back more into the rhythm of whatever we were doing. So all set, and oh, that's right, I haven't seen you around lately, how have you been? I did save at the end of the last episode, I think. So, um, I don't know what she's saying, it's been a while. Um, unless maybe Isabel just misses us after a week. But, uh... Uh, yeah, this looks like a different outfit than what we started our last episode with. And um, ooh! Okay. This spot is for Scoot's new home. Okay, I think... Yeah, it means I think I've run into Scoot in almost every single playthrough of any Animal Crossing game I've done on the channel. Because we had him briefly in City's photo, I think. We ran into him in Onai with a new leaf. And, uh, I don't know, he's gonna be living here. Only one he's been, uh, been spared from is, uh... <laughs> ah! Is, um... Uh, population growing. Yeah, but uh, yeah, hopefully you're all doing good. I know I am. Let's chill. So obviously last time was kind of a reintroductory episode. Today I just want it to be a, a general episode, you know? We don't gotta we don't gotta milk the whole we're back thing forever. He says. You know, we could. We could, but I won't, because I am chill like that. We have standards on this channel, or so I will try to claim. So, ooh. I I spy a little thing there, Stitches. I will I would love to steal it off you when you're uh, when you move. Thank you. But yeah, um so I'll entirely level with you what though. Uh, I really have very little memory. Ooh, I wonder if someone dropped this, maybe I should look for the owner and return it, yeah. But I have very little memory of what our goal was um towards the end of last series. So I kinda wanna get caught back up on what that is that we could be doing. Um, cause I, I want to take a look at our list of public works projects, see if it's the default water, if we unlocked a few. Um, if so, you know, what's waiting for that, and etc. And then I want to see how our home mode is doing. I figure we, we, we gotta kinda, you know, I made a mental note of what we needed doing on uh, Main Street last time, but... Yeah, uh, I know we have the beautiful town on and so on. But, in terms of projects, what, what are the people yearning for? So we've got the, um, the two bridges, it's... That all seems relatively... Yeah, if I'm being honest, I don't think there's anything here new. Like, Hot Spring, I think, might be the only thing that's been requested, which looks cool enough, to be fair. Do we have enough money for that? No, but... So, we ain't currently building anything, and um, I j had just managed to miss, and uh, there's nothing really in that screaming build me, other than the, um, other than the little Hot Spring, but... Yeah. I do like Public Works projects, they, they feel nice. Um, so it, it's different to New Horizons, I will say. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, now have our pub uh, perfect fruits regrown, they, they have, oh, the money makers, I love them, I love them, they're beautiful. Uh, but before we do that, how are you doing, Stitches? Woo, he finally decided to talk to me. I'm so lonely, I've been eating vanilla gelato non-stop stuffing. Of course, that's actually been pretty great, but if you open the door closing, if you see me talk to me, that's just basic manners. Oh, well, I'll try remember to. Oh, okay, I, was, I thought, nah, I guess it's in, why are you randomly shaking trees? What's your plan, what's your scheme? I, I first was one way you could um, shake trees while holding a tool, but I guess that's New Horizons. How my pox are already? That doesn't surprise me, but at the same time it does. It's like, ah, never mind, never mind. Um, That's why, that's why our, our pockets are heavy, you know what I mean? It's because did we... I imagine this is us finding the money rock last time and just, you know, doing a bit of a forgetful. Ah, right, either way, uh, let's shake all these, then we'll pull out a tool, and then we can uh, carry a little bit more, can't we? God, I have... I haven't missed hearing the soundtrack, though. I'm in my way of hearing New Leaf's soundtrack. You know, I've not been playing. Ah, uh, you son of a... Right, fine. Uh, which one have you used the rotten one? Um, I think... Right, rotten cherries. That one on the front, I'll, um... Pick up the rest, and... I mean, yeah, we may as well take care of this now. Actually, no, we'll shake the other two. Um, see if any more need replacing. Yeah, this is why you do your research. So it's just these two. Well, we may as well get on with this. Again, this, this was kind of our old routine, wasn't it? You know, kind of keep perfect fruit going as long as we can. Um, etc, etc. Um, but which is good, you know, I, I think this is, it's, it's nice, it's, it's something a little different, it's not coconut shoveling to the extent it was in early city folk, because, well, you know, we're, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's grab, uh, let's grab this one as well, so, actually, no, oh, I'm an idiot, I need, I need to, I need to plant in there, that's kind of, that's kind of the point, I, my muscle memory with the controls is still slightly messed, I will say, but hey, it's fine, we're just gonna bury one of them here, it does mean we want to make a little less, but it also means our pockets are less full as well. So, you know, take it, I take that how you will. And then I believe the rest is simply a matter of just being good. Oh, I need to see which one I use, uh, the rotten. Is it one on front again, though? Um, 
Okay, so the, okay, so it's that one that I got my one. We'll pay attention. If we, if we keep an eye out, we'll be Gucci. But then, yeah, hopefully you all have a good day. I know I am. I'm working in just over an hour. I know, tragic. Um, and it, it's part and parcel with Barwick. I suppose, of course, it's going to be busiest at the weekends. It's a wedding, though, and there's only two of us. Not a wedding, I'm just a regular party. And the, there's only two of us on, which usually means it's, like, less than 100 people. So I'm chill with that. Uh, I'd have to go in before and um, help them. Um, well, I had to, like, make sure we were open so they could um, deliver the buffet and stuff. Uh, which has given me the great excuse of, okay, I'm probably going to get in burst for this time. Let's order a cheeky Domino's. Because, you know, if, you know, I was at the unfortunate fortunate position where my time was just so pressing you know I you know it was you know it's my time that badly I'm taking a whole hour out of my day um to the point where it's like yeah I'll order Domino's I'll, I'll treat myself I got paid like um an hour's worth so about tenner and Domino's uh, you know they, they're being chill recently they've got um, no minimum order for delivery which is like yes yes life is good life is good um we don't have a uh, garbage bin in here do we I don't think we do tragically but yeah, they had no minimum order, so I was able to use my 50% off things to get a medium pizza, and that was enough to get them to deliver it for me. Very delicious, would recommend. Um, if you if you got to know what I wanted, I uh, will speak to Jax, but it was half pepperoni, half Texas barbecue, regular crust. Very nice. Anyway, my wife isn't Daniel. It's been such a long time. Where were you this whole time? Maybe we've just been missing each other for days, as if the laws. If that's the case, I'm sorry, Daniel. I hope it didn't make you feel too sad. Nah, you didn't make me feel sad at all, Jax. I am happy the lot of the villagers that we spoke, used to speak to are still here, like hi, Pippi. Hey, it's you, Daniel. Seems like forever since I last saw you. Like, I, I know it's only a one little word thing, but it's like, I, 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 I just, it, it does, it does sting a little bit knowing I kind of did fob these people off for that long. But at the same time, it's like, I feel, I feel, I feel glad to be back. It's, it, it's, it's nice. It's, it's, it's nice. Um, anyway, let's go get our fossils assessed. Um, we'll see if anybody's at the campsite. I doubt it, but you know, you never know unless you try. And yeah, I mean, I guess we could try work at the roost. I don't know how good we'd be, but you know, we could, well, again, you can try. I work at a bar, so you know, maybe it's like close enough. It's not, I can assure you, but still. Hey, that's a gold nugget. We do not have many of those to be fair, so I will, I will happily take it. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, because I'm working site, I want to, what I'm, I, I, I'm going to do a, what I call juice for time, which, which is exactly how it sounds. Basically, I, you know, I like being efficient, and I wasn't able to do this when I went there before, so I've got, I've got the itch. I've got, I, I, I probably sound insane, but I, I like being efficient when I don't have a lot of time, because it makes me feel like I'm even the middle finger to any time constraints I have, which I just think is cool. And also, it's like, I can give myself part of the bag, like, yeah, I am at my job making money, and I'm also exporting X, Y, Z at home. So um, I've actually saved up a list of things I need to export, and um, this is gonna be joining them. So um, yeah, what, when, I, when I go for work, um, right before I leave, uh, you know, I'll, I think I'll probably, I'll probably be editing from the end of this recording until then. Um, I've probably got to get my, uh, everything done in the next 40 minutes. And that includes wrapping up this recording, which we can, we can manage it. But basically, whenever I go to work or you know I'm going to be at the house for a while, I like to have something exporting in my queue. It's just quite nice. And I've said this no doubt many times before, but hello, Mitzi. Um, cool to see you here. Um, but um, with work especially, and um, namely Dang and Romper 2 being you know, currently ongoing on the channel, exports are taking a little while longer than usual. Um, I did say last time how this series takes a little bit longer because, you know, we've got the moving dots now. I think I'll stick with the current vibe, but let me know if you guys think there's any way it can be improved. But we got the two game screens that are moving, the moving dots in the background to make it look nice, the logo, the thing. It's... That's quite a heavy load. Then you've got a very long recording, and then you've got some other stuff as well, uh, which, which takes ages, you know, and when it's exporting, I can't play games. But if I'm doing that when I'm at work... The serotonin that gets pumped through my temples directly into my bloodstream. Um, it's it, it's insane. And it, it's such an oddly specific thing, but I'm sure I'm sure one of you watching will have something similar where it's like, hell yeah, I get that. But it's like, I don't know, I, I like... Like, I'm a, I, I'm a computer nurse, so it's like, I like parallel processing my tasks. Like, yes, I am at work, but I'm also getting tonight's videos ready. So when I go, I'm gonna probably export this. Dang and Romper, and then a special video because, um, well, I suppose I don't need to spoil it. Look, this and that will probably go around the same time, but, um, yeah, um, I've been doing YouTube now for over half my life by a few days, which is crazy. Um, I was doing it as of 11 years on the 3rd of September this year. Um, I started 3rd September 2013, I turned 22 in a few days. The math kind of maths. And the, yeah, um, I, I kind of wanted to make a video where it was like, can I can I speak to you? Is that is that a possibility? It, it is, I just wasn't standing in the right spot. So how about we play Nook for a day? You send you one of those cute little Nook kids out like I'm in your score. Oh, it's only if you're Dimitrodon in the score, what's your price? All right, sure. 
Wow. I think I just got a very good deal on a fossil. Um, it's kind of F my thing. But yeah, um, I've been doing YouTube for half my life, so I wanted to give you guys a mini little update video to celebrate that fact. So that's um, nine years on this channel, 11 years overall. Half my life is a big thing, I think. I want to make another little celebrate. And also, um, it kind of gives a little mini insight into stuff that's coming up soon with the channel, as well as, um, um, what's called, I'll, I'll look at our analytics. Because I don't think since we got monetized that I have mentioned the um, money this channel has made. And we got monetized November 1st last year, um, late Halloween possibly. And yeah, yeah I want to I show you guys, I want to be honest, what, what, we, what we've been doing, what we've been getting up to. Because, you know, I figure, I, figure that's, I figure that's just right. Um, uh, warning, we're not rich, but uh, it, it's good. So yeah, um, I'm probably going to have this, that, and then dang on for two exporting whilst I'm at work. Which, I start work at six and get home at about half twelve at a push, maybe one. If it fin like if I get home right and I, and I look at my export timer and I see when it finished, and it, say I get home at twelve fifteen and that thing finished exporting at like twelve oh five or twelve ten, makes my day. And I don't know if I'm just weird, but like it just does. It just does. I I, I see it and my brain is like, yep, this is it. You know, Vegas, here we come. Life is winning. You know those um those those noises that, that play on the slot machines when you win. They're playing. It's it's great. It it, it feels good. It it feels right. It feels nice and. Uh, yeah, I, I call it juicing for time, because um, you know, it feels like I am, I'm taking my time, and it's like, okay, I got all these tasks, and they should take this long, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in the juicer on a puree setting, and all of a sudden, they take up a lot less time, because I can do two at once. It's, it's great, honestly. Um, anyway, we've uh, solved our stuff now, so I should probably stop yapping. Um, but don't even know, because I, I mention that fairly often, it's, it's like one of my favourite things to do, because it's, you know what I mean, you've only got so much time, make the best of it, and to me, when I know I'm making the best of it, that's, that makes me happy. But what if there's anything that you guys do, that, that, you know, cheers you up, it doesn't have to be that, but you know, is, is there something similar like that for you, or something else where you do where it just makes you go, oh hell yeah, oh hell yeah, because you know, oh, I don't, maybe there is, maybe there is. It's, I mean, to be fair, I could imagine, you know, wanting something to install and then doing something else in the meantime, you know? It can, it can be big, it can be small, it doesn't it, it is how it is. Now, um, anyway, with, with that yap session aside, oh, we got a little bit left on our loan. Um, I'm gonna pay off 28,000 right now, I think. I wanna, I wanna put a little bit of money in it, just, um, you know, 170,000. And, again, while we're here, I wanna get refilled back in. Do we have any money in the bank? Oh, we do. We got, um... Didn't get as much interest on that as I thought we would, if I'm being honest, but... Now I like having 50,000 bells in there, that... I can trust that, that feels right. And the Pelly, out of raw interest, have we saved much mail? Again, I gotta get myself reacquainted with this town, but um, it doesn't seem we've saved a lot, but, you know, we've saved enough. So, from Unknown Sender, that's the one that you get when you first move in. From your mom. I guess I think these are all starting uh, games, yeah, so from Mom, 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 Happy Home Showcase. Is that... Happy Home Academy invite letter, and then... These bottom few, is this Mitzi's moving out letter? Ah, yeah. You'll see, we've had her in two towns now, and this and um, City Folk. And then, I've been selling all my cards against Blue Side, maybe we want some ice cream, like, real bad. Um, shh. Okay, I don't know why I saved that, and then from Cousteau, yeah, he used to be in this world too. It's time for me to say goodbye to this town and everyone in it, I'm gonna miss you guys. Um, so do I have anything that's worth maybe saving? Oh yeah, no, I said I'd go save cookies, didn't I? So I guess this, this, this isn't a wholly pointless exercise. I don't know about Jax. If you come celebrate my birthday, I won't. In fact, I'm not going to celebrate it so much. I'm going to toss it. And then Pippi, it's almost 6.14. Ah, so these are those were birthday invites. Well, a few years after. Anything else worth saving? Um, no, I don't think I will head to the swim, uh, the beach with you. And then, last but not least, you can always come home. It's Father's Day. I'll say Father's Day. Why not? Why not? It seems like a nice enough letter. Bada bing and bada boom. And, oh, saving. How scandalous. Huh. Done and done, thanks for choosing the Mystere Post Office. To be fair, that just reminded me. Um, today, um, in case you don't know this, town is named after two things. Um, it's named after St. Mystere from the first Professor Layton game, if any of you guys are aware of that series. But also, I, a nickname I have for my cat is Mister. You know, Mister, Mystere, you know. If I'm French, it would have worked better, but, um... Yeah, um, so I named it that, um, uh, you know, and part of that is Professor Layton. Um, at least it's meant to be, you know, people people may read it different ways. Um, is there anything good going on in here? But recently, um, no, I think as of today, there was a really old Professor Layton game that was Japani Japanese exclusive to a certain brand of flip phone available for a limited time, and people thought it was lost media. And, um, 
No. Um, but yeah, people thought it was lost. They held the first three chapters, I think it needed three more. I mean, and people assumed it was gone, like long gone. Like all of these phones would have feasibly stopped working or been destroyed or sold or wiped, you know. But um, no, um, as of today, they found it. I think it was like Professor Layton in the Hidden Manor or something. I, I think people got like straight to work translating it, which I find cool. Um, I like Professor Layton. It's, it's one of those things that I do want to revisit now I'm older, because I think I would be significantly less thick in trying to play through the games. And I mean that in like the nicest way possible to pass to me. But bro, that game had me fighting. That game series had me fighting for my life. I kind of like the super villain outfit, if I'm being honest. It, it's giving cool vibes. A doc that's not a doctor's coat. That is. That that that, that looks like I'm a super villain in the making. And like those jeans, they're not they're not speaking to me. But. Mm. Hmm. Now continuing on. Oh okay. I think we've already had a cat hood, but I kind of want to buy another one. The cat, cat, that's not a bad choice when you want to look like a cat. This item is just a thing. Wow, really? Like, I kind of, I kind of try these on to be fair. I'm gonna stay in here while I do because I like, I like this, uh, this theme. Oh, we gotta remember to put that in our thing. But oh, okay, so we can have two on at once. That's, that's kind of snazzy. And then with a the thing, you know, Doctor Naramic is in the house. Or perhaps Evil Super Villain Naramic is in the house, and he's looking rather snazzy. <laughs> That, that, or he's having a midlife breakdown. You know, it's 50-50 in this economy, to be fair. But also, that'll be a nice little bit of money towards uh, Shampoodle and Kicks opening, which... Yeah, because it's 14,000 and 17,000, respectively, I think. So we added, we added a few hundred. Yeah, stuff in there isn't mega expensive, so it does take its time, but we will get it. And yeah, I kind of like this fit, to be fair. I, I like I like how it looks. It's kind of cool. Now, what, actually, how are you doing, Barbara? May as well speak to you. Darling, it's you. I haven't seen you around in forever. I was also worried. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, they really don't draw it out as long as they used to, but I, I kind of like that. So it means I can jump straight back into a different conversation with them, which is like, yeah, go on then. Oh, go on then. Ooh, hello Goose, I haven't seen you in a hot minute. <laughs> Coffee tastes especially good after a good workout. So can, can I work here yet? Welcome. No, I can't. Well, we may as well drink coffee to try and get in his good books in the meantime. Coffee is 200 bells for a cup, how about it? One, please. Alright. The, the fact this wasn't in New Horizons at launch is genuinely one of the greatest crimes of our century. Next to all of the actual crimes. Um, I recommend you drink it before it cools. I mean, it's coffee. Of course you'd recommend that I drink it. Because what else am I going to do? Eat it as a solid? You silly goose. Hot, hot, hot. Now that's a good cup of coffee if you don't mind having to spend a few days recovering from it. How hot did he serve you that? Like, is he going to get sued like McDonald's did that one time? Cool, thank you. I, okay, you know what? we got a little bit of time off on this recording. Here was an obscenely pointless fact while I go fishing. Um, okay, no, no objections? Wow. You think this video is pre-recorded? But, um, yeah, McDonald's once got sued for selling their coffee too hot. Um, because I think an old lady went through the drive-thru, got a coffee, and, um, she was, like, trying to balance it on her legs, and it ended up spilling, so she, you know, sued them for not having cups that, you know, would reasonably, um, withstand that. And, you know, to each their own, but I think she had, I think, I think, and this is me counting, so I so wrong, but I, I think she had, like, no actual standing to, um, to sue them. Uh, but it was a case with a jury. And McDonald's, apparently, through the course of the trial, were that, like, ambivalent to the whole thing. Like, they just they just did not give two shits. Um, so the jury um, voted them guilty, despite the fact that legally they were not. Which led to uh, McDonald's paying, you know, a, a, a amount of money um, to this, this old lady. Uh, you know, oh, she got, like, I, I think, like, decent, you know, she, 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 she I'm not sure. I, I think she had, like, some fees and stuff, because obviously, you know, if you're old and get burned, you maybe don't recover from it as best as other people would. But, um, yeah, McDonald's got, like, completely done by the jury, because, um, they, they, they're a bit too confident, a bit too cocky, and the jury didn't like that, so they're like, yeah, no, you're guilty, pay her however much, go straight to jail, do not pass, go. And, yeah, that led to a load of changes, um, at McDonald's's. I think the most famous one is that their coffee is now not served at the obscenely high temperatures it was, and I think the cup design was changed. You know, <laughs> just in case. Because, like, if you, you know... When I go to McDonald's and I get a thick shake at the drive-thru, um, usually I'm driving through somebody else because I'm still learning to drive. Um, you know what I do? I If I have a cup holder, which is commonly the case because my cup holders are filled with anything but cups these days, it seems. Um, 
It's like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm probably stashing like the entire Ming Dynasty in there. Uh, it's like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with the same way. I'll, I'll stick my. Ooh, I'm gonna do go donate that to the museum if you insist. Well, Pete, I guess that means letters have been delivered if I have any. It was like, I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would, if I've got a thick chase, it's like, I'll just, I'll, if, if it's one drink. If, if it's a little thing, I'll hold it on my knees. But if it's one drink, it's like, yeah, it's going, it's going between my knees. So it's like, I sit like that. And now I'm in minorly less danger because McDonald's was sued to change that fact. And the only reason they were forced to go through with it by law is because they acted cocky. I think. And I'm just gonna slap a big old allegedly on everything I just said, in case in some way, shape, or form that may lead to me getting sued. Unlikely, but you never know. You gotta cover your bases, you gotta cover your bases. Oh, no, I, muscle memory kicks in. Um, I apologies, Blathers, I apologies. Um, I'd like to make a donation. I'd like to make a donation, and I would like to go out and send you this carp. I'm shocked I haven't caught one of these and given you one yet, but. It is how it is. It can't remind me of the time when I was still in my baby feathers. I beg your pardon, I was about to go on a tangent there. Anywho, we promise we'll take care of it from here. We'll display it later with a detailed description. You know what? We're going to wrap up this episode. I'm done yapping about um, me being efficient at McDonald's for now. So, oh, by the way, if you are in England and inherently care, McDonald's Monopoly has come back. Albeit worse than they used to do it a few years ago, because, I mean, what isn't worse than it was a few years ago? Oh, I love how this place makes my, my evil villain suit look. Ooh. But yeah, it, it's back if any of you inherently care. I figured I'd give you the heads up, you know? If any of you win... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> then if you win, good. <laughs> then if you win, good. Think I'm the type of person to make for money for my fans? No. That's what the inevitable second channel Patreon's for. Nah. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to walk through here to wrap it up though, because I, I like I like the fish, the fish areas and the museums. They're always that peaceful. Like I'm kind of a sucker for a, a good old aquarium. It's got to have the right vibes, but if it has the right vibes, I'm a sucker for it. But I'm gonna do a outro in here, I think. So a hi higher spot, Gale, I think. Gala. There's always something happening here on Mr. Main Street. Oh yeah, there is. There is. Yeah, but hopefully um you have enjoyed. Of course, if you have, then feel free to like, comment. And subscribe, it does always help out a bunch. It lets me know that you do want to see more of this and all of that good stuff. And oh, this is my favorite room of the lot. I don't know what it is the little archway, the little, little seat. It's, 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 it's great, man. I'm a, I'm a sucker for it. Um, but yeah, if you, once again, it feels very good to be back. See you all next time. And until next next time, with all that said and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name has been Naramic and Peace. Out.